Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. <laughs> it's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, we are models that practically build them themselves. <laughs> Let's see what's in this box. Let's see what's in the box. Let's see what's in this box. Yeah, what's in the box, Doc? What's in that box? Okay, so we're going to take a look and see what is in this box. I know that this is my uh, RTV molds, and it's this is a heavy box because well, RTV rougher isn't light. Um, so here's kind of an overall view. I'm going to take things out individually and then we'll kind of uh, look at them then. Okay, let's get this party started with one that I use a lot. This is for my 35th scale um, Shermans. This area down here is the, like the logs that go on the side of, of a lot of the Shermans you've seen on some of mine. This is the um, stowage. It goes um, on the engine, on top of the engine bay. This is the one that goes on that uh, storage shelf, the very back end. Some 50 cal cans, 30 cal cans, some crates, and then just a bunch of different um, tarps that are rolled up. So, um, and there's even a, a milk can here. So, yeah, kind of a fun one there. That one I can still use. This one is Japanese submarines in 700 scale. And it looks like a destroyer escort of some sort. Um, and I've used this one many, many times. Don't know that I'll ever use it again and don't know that I could because it's pretty tweaked. This is a, another fun one. This is my 25th scale uh, garage pegboard. And there's a couple of trays here. You can see all the tools. Sometimes I just will fill this up and cut it off. You know, need, need some tools. Um, and you've seen this board before in a couple of my dioramas. Uh, here we have a U.S. Navy four-stack destroyer. One, two, three, four. Um, Clemson class. And here's the torpedo launchers. Kind of neat. This is an oldie but a goodie, 48 scale. Um, the, this, by the way, didn't turn out too good. This was a two-part mold. And this is 48 scale B-24. You can see 50 cal machine guns uh, and barrels. And these here are part of the rear turret for the B-24. Um, this two-piece mold actually did turn out a couple of pretty decent pieces but it wasn't what I expected. Ah, here's a <laughs> most ver Yeah, one of the best molds I've ever made. This is a turret for an M4 Sherman. And there's a... You can see back here, part of the uh, radio antenna areas come out. This mold has turned out a good dozen uh, turrets for me, so I got my money's worth. And I could still probably get another one out of it. Hatch, and then the front matlet there. This is uh, HO scale seating for a uh, train car. Complete interior. Hardly used. I think I made like one or two sets out of this so far. And this is the coupler, the, the gasket that goes between the, the train cars. Um, I've made a few of those. 25th scale Cougar. This is a good one. Um, 60. This looks like an XR7 dashboard. Uh, so, grill, tail lights, bumper, 68 um, steering wheel because that's hard to come by. Um, I have a friend who does a lot of resin stuff uh, with cars. Can't remember the name of his channel right now, but he's out of uh, Arizona who loaned me. Uh, a 67 and a 68 complete interior so I could uh, do these molds like here's the 68 XR7 um, overhead console which is really cool okay 
Uh, another 25th scale top fuel engine. Uh, here is wheels for uh, top fuel um, dragster or uh, funny car. So here's one that uh, still has a <laughs> few viable pieces. This was a bunch of Ford stuff, like a small block bell housing, um, hood hinges, a couple of different um, air cleaners here. The uh, one shield washer bottle box on a uh, Chrysler and a gas cap from a 69 charger. Here's some um, batteries and some Holly carburetors. So a couple of pieces there I can still use. So I cut up old molds and I put them in with my, um, uh, with my new molds to take up more space so I don't have to use as much RTV. And it works out just fine. Here's another piece of this puzzle. Not sure where, <laughs> where exactly it came from. Here somewhere. Um, huh, I don't know. Anyway, um, hood scoop, um, like an eliminator hood scoop, and some more batteries. A washer bottle for a 66, 67 Mustang and Cougar. Uh, this one shot. This was a uh, two-piece mold for needle blade prop on a 48 scale B24, but as you can see, there's chunks taken out of it, so that's garbage. Uh, B24 Tokyo tank. <laughs> Here is a Chrysler uh, four-speed transmission for a big block. This one's kind of fun. Um, a bug catcher, more modern bug catcher, and headers for a top fuel 24th scale, 25th scale um, dragster or funny car. That's still good. Made a few few pieces out of that. Here's a um, 25th scale drum, like a fuel drum, oil drum, whatever. And I'm eh, not sure how it fits, but anyway. Made a few of those. This one's interesting. So here is a case of soda pop and a case of oh, supposed to be oil. These are some batteries stacked on each other, and this is some um, uh, jumper cables. What you can't see is the wooden detail here. This was put in the box in the bed of the um, Billy Carter um, Chevy truck. This was the stuff that was in the bed of that truck. So I just, you know, put a, uh, a barrier up and poured poured it right in the into there, and this is what I got. So that was pretty neat. Let's look at some ship stuff here. A couple of Japanese destroyers. And this would be a Japanese um, fleet oiler. You can see the. Um, the bridge there and the funnel here but I've made plenty of these I don't need any more but it's still a viable mold here is a cargo ship Japanese cargo ship I've made quite a few of these again it's still a viable mold nice and soft and US destroyer not sure what class um, I think this was actually the Dunlop kit. So anyway, you can see all the different um, pieces here to make different variants of the that certain class. By the way, these are 700 scale B24s. You can see from the Skywave kit here, uh, somewhere I have a, a mold that I made a bunch out of some clear resin, so that's what those are bunch of small B24s. Uh, here's my replacement needle blade prop um, two-piece mold. Of course I don't need that anymore. These are actually traction bars. Some nice traction bars that I made a mold of. Uh, this is the centerpiece from a 67-68 Mercury Cougar along with the bottom valence for the front and the bottom valence for the back. A lot of cougar stuff in here. Oh, 
Here's another bug catcher of a different style with straps and the uh, blower to go with it. 25th scale. This is a 700 scale Devastator. This is before Trumpeter came out with theirs. Theirs in plastic years ago. Um, you had to scratch build it and make resin copies. That's about a 25 year old mold there. Here is the grill to my 70 Duster. The stock grill, not the one with the fancy that's on the 340 kit. It's the more common one, an RT badge that I wanted to make a mold of. What's this? Oh, interior. 67 Mercury Cougar interior. Rawl with the Muscle Car Modeler, he sent me uh, by request a few pieces that I was looking for, uh, put them on loan to me so I could make some casts, so I did. So I got a lot of good Cougar parts. Um, seats for the 68 Mustang or 67 Mustang. 67 Cougar. Huh. My M4A2 Sherman uh, mold, and as you can see, cut up all these little pieces put in. Very stable, but it's been sitting in here for a while and kind of tweaked. There's actually some resin in here. Um, we we'll probably need to put a little more right here because this area is bare. But I could still make another hole out of that. I've probably made 10 easily out of this for different different uh, purposes. So it's an M4A2 early hull. That's neat. Forgot that uh, that was in here. Oh yeah, this is a fun one. 25th scale. These are some big uh, Goodyear tires that I absolutely love to use on my projects. And I could never get enough of them, so I had to had to uh, resin cast them. I should make another mold. This one's just about had it, but it still works. This one's hard to see, but it's a tri-power. It's a three, three Hollies and a fuel block and a velocity stack air cleaner <laughs> for 25th scale. Um, I do have some 32nd scale F4 Phantom. Like this here is the, the nose pod. For a 32nd scale F4 Phantom um, Wild Weasel. Um, this is the tail piece for a Wild Weasel in uh, 30 uh, 32nd scale. I use these on my um, on my Ravel kit, which is actually a really good kit to convert it into a Wild Weasel. Um, here we have a 35th scale transmission for a Sherman. And along with that, somewhere here, oh, I can't, oh here. Here's the uh, radiator for Sherman. These are tail lights for a 71, 72 Demon. I've used those a few times. And here is some more 35th scale uh, these are boxes by um, wooden crates by uh, Tamiya. And then just a bunch of different like backpacks, helmet, uh, there's a mine, and just other bedrolls and, and stuff in here. So, yeah, and a duffel, and a 30 and a 50 cal machine gun box. So, yeah, some kind of interesting things there. Here's a hatch for an M4 Sherman uh, with the... Um, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but the Commander's Cupola. Another uh, Devastator in 700 scale. You can tell at one point I really, <laughs> really like to make those. And here is a 25th scale Dragster rear end for a Dragster and a Funny Car. That's still a good mold. And a single plug Hemi. Um, a valve cover. I have one in here as well that's got the uh, single plug uh, with the magneto. 35th scale early hatches for a Sherman and a few of the tools and accoutrements. And this is a sad one. The rest of this mold is somewhere but these are side pipes and cougar tail lights 
And that's actually a mirror from a 67, uh, 68 Mercury Cougar and Mustang. So anyway, uh, a few other little odds and ends here. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, you know, here's a, here's a blower um, with the blower bag on it, which is kind of neat. So, all right, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm going to put all this stuff back. <laughs>